Getting the message out about the dangers of fentanyl, that is the goal of a summit that's happening tomorrow at Sacramento State. Lori Miller is here with us now. She's the summit director and also works for Sacramento County Department of Health Services. Thanks for joining us, Lori, to talk about this really important uh, summit that's happening tomorrow. Um, describe why your organization decided to put this on. Yeah, thank you for having me this morning. You know, fentanyl is, is a real issue here in our area. Fentanyl poisoning, people are continuing to die from fentanyl poisoning across Sacramento County. It's, it's alarming um, and we really want to get the word out to raise awareness. It was really important for Sacramento County Department of Health to come to the community and raise awareness around this issue, around the dangers of fentanyl in order to save lives. And you know, when we talk about the fentanyl crisis, as I've talked with advocates over the past few years, it really comes down to uh, just a whole toolbox full of things. You know, they talk about legislation and policy and that kind of thing, but also education is a huge piece of this. So is that why your organization decided that this summit setting is, is a good way to tackle the education piece? Absolutely. Fentanyl does not discriminate. It is affecting everyone here in our community. It's affecting people of all ages, all races, all neighborhoods. So again, the Department of Health Services uh, knew the message needed to get out to our community to talk about the dangers and to encourage others to talk about the dangers in order to save lives. And will you tell me the, the theme of this event? It has a, a name, correct? Yeah, so the, this is the third annual Fentanyl Awareness and Action Summit. It's an all-day event at Sac State University. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great day of the community coming together, of raising awareness and saving lives. The Department of Health Services has partnered with local law enforcement, uh, first responders, community-based providers, community members, and grieving families in order to shed light on this critical issue here in our community. There will be dynamic presentations from our local leaders, uh, from our uh, people with lived experience, community-based uh, providers. And that's so uh, yes. important because it's so important when we hear about just how severely the fentanyl crisis has affected people like you and me and our families and, you know, other neighbors we might know, you know, the law enforcement leaders who encounter this kind of thing each day when they're responding to critical incidents. I mean, um, that wide range of community voices coming together, I imagine, will have an impact on the people who attend. It will have a huge impact. In fact, we have community-based providers and resources in the area of substance use prevention, treatment, and harm reduction. Everyone there will receive a Narcan kit and information how to administer Narcan. And most importantly, we're coming together to support one another and saving lives. So education and awareness is really the key. And for you in this um, field, in this advocacy uh, role, um, what have been the most uh, impactful ways that that your work has has reached people. Have there been parents who've approached you and said, "I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that something that my kid might buy online could end up killing them potentially." This is what we're talking about. How intense this crisis is. Absolutely, parents parents have reached out, and certainly we want to lift up those individuals who have lost their lives to fentanyl poisoning here in this area. And it's, it's really about being the voice for them now to increase the education and the awareness around this critical issue in order to save more lives. Well, thank you so much, Lori. We hope that people take advantage of this uh, very important event happening tomorrow. And we thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you so much. All right, Leticia, back to you.